This is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com to be another exciting episode for you coming at you from my backyard garden. And yes, this is a nice large cucumber hanging next to me. And I'm not picking that one today, but what I am juicing is one of my favorite green juices. And my favorite green juices are greens that are in season right now at the time. So I always want to encourage you guys to rotate the different juices you make. Even if this is somebody's favorite lemon ginger blast or, you know, whatever kind of juice, switch up the recipes, change a few ingredients, you know, don't always juice spinach, don't always juice kale, don't always juice bok choy or lettuce, you know, keep rotating different ones in. And I wanna encourage you guys also to experiment when juicing. One of the biggest tips that I wanna give you guys when experimenting and making up your own juices is try to keep it simple. As you guys are gonna to learn today, I'm only using three ingredients, super simple, super easy. You don't just start putting all kinds of ingredients in there because you can make some really foul smelling and foul tasting stuff and I don't want you guys to do that right so in general I like to use something something that's kind of sweet so today we're using the uh, Asian pears uh, I like to use something also for a nice good water content today we're using uh, the cucumbers you could also use something like the celery or even zucchini I've used squash before and peeled jicama root and then we're gonna add in the greens and so we have uh, 10 ounces of uh, baby organic spinach ready to juice. And today we'll be using the Omega VSJ 843 juicer. The Omega VSJ 843 juicer is a second generation of vertical single auger juicer. And this is the kind of juicer that I would recommend to you guys if you want to juice, you know, a bunch of greens plus a lot of other stuff. Overall, this style of juicer juices, you know, most things, fruits, hard vegetables, and leafy greens the best. And the two latest versions of the uh, vertical single auger juicers, the second generation models, the only two second generation models are the Omega VSJ 843 and the Slow Star Juicer. So I'd encourage you guys to get one of those if you don't have one already. They will definitely save you time uh, when you are juicing. So there's a few reasons why I like the Omega VSJ 843 juicers as well as the Slow Star Juicer because they run at a low RPM. The VSJ 843 runs at 43 revolutions per minute, which is really slow compared to a Breville juice fountain that runs it in excess of 10,000 RPMs, which is really uh, fast. And so this causes more oxidation to the beneficial phytonutrients in the juice based on scientific studies that I have seen, which is gonna reduce the amount of benefits, you know, uh, for example, anti-cancer benefits from the juice, from, you know, studies I've seen once again. And, you know, the main thing is you want to get a juicer and start juicing. I mean, most Americans are doing far worse in their diet than juicing, and juicing would be a major improvement. I mean, most Americans do not simply eat enough fruits and vegetables. Most of the vegetables that Americans eat are potatoes in the form of French fries and potato chips, and tomatoes in the form of ketchup. Um, so I really want to get you guys to eat, especially the leafy green. That's what I'm focusing on today. I mean, we got 10 ounces here, but we got Although that's a lot of lettuce, we got a lot of other things to uh, balance it out so it's going to taste good. So I always want to encourage you guys to make like a green juice for breakfast. One of my girlfriend's favorite green juices is like a spinach and pineapple, right? Lately she's been actually doing like some greens and some cantaloupe or something like that. Now, I like to generally stick to like apples and pears and Asian pears or some citrus, or, you know, or some pineapple in with my leafy greens. But feel free to make anything you want. But remember this. Keep the recipe simple. Use only a handful of ingredients at the most and you know try to keep it down to like two or three, like pineapple and spinach. Amazing. You don't even need to add cucumbers or anything else, right? You know, um, so yeah. And I mean, if you do want to do something, do like three ingredients and you're gonna be far less likely to screw something up and make something that tastes bad. Of course, like if you're juicing dandelions, you know, pears and cucumbers, you know, dandelions have a strong flavor. So you're gonna want to use a little dandelion and a whole bunch of the other stuff, right? So spinach is kind of mild to me and everybody's taste buds are different. I've been doing this for 20 years now, so I'm really used to all the different flavors and greens that I'm growing in my garden. So any, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into juicing in the Omega VSJ. Now, the most important thing to remember in any vertical slow juicer is to rotate the produce you're putting in. We're gonna go ahead and put in some uh, spinach, some cut up cucumbers, some cut up Asian pear, then repeat, you know, spinach, cucumber, Asian pear until we're done. So uh, I guess uh, let's get juicing.
All right, so we're about halfway done juicing in the VSJ, and every once in a while I like to, uh, you know, shake down the pulp uh, bin, and so this is caught in a lot of pulp, so I like to just basically run that back through. Mostly it looks like it's mostly foam. There's not a lot of pulp in there. And then uh, once we put that back in there, then I like to use something watery to kind of like push it in. So we're going to go ahead and use a cucumber to get that all to go through. And I'm going to go ahead and continue uh, juicing the rest of my delicious green juice today. so I'm just about done juicing in the Omega VSJ843. I ran out of my greens first and that's good because you always want to run out of your greens first. Next we're going to go ahead and uh, put in the final Asian pear and cucumber. Our collection uh, cup is getting a little bit full here. Maybe we're going to go ahead and uh, turn this off before we overflow. We'll shut down the stopper and I like to basically uh, put the sieve on the top there. We'll move this bowl aside and uh, here's my delicious green juice this morning made in the Omega VSJ843. All right, nothing better than a pitcher of beer to start off, I mean a uh, fresh green juice to start off your day with. Hmm. Wow, that's really light and refreshing. You taste like, it's really watery due to all the cucumber, the Asian pear and parts like a light sweetness. And then we got the greens in there, of course which are really beneficial and good for us because simply not enough Americans are eating enough leafy greens. I mean, this is how easy it is to make a juice. It doesn't take that much time. And even if you're really busy, I wanna encourage you guys to make the time to juice, right? You are worth it. The more you could juice and eat more fresh fruits and vegetables, the more it'll improve the quality of your life, the more it'll improve the energy you have in the life, the more it'll improve you know, your lifespan, in my opinion, and the healthier you're gonna be because of it. So it's definitely one of the best investments in time you can make instead of trying to go to your job for money that you may not need, to buy things you don't need, and, to, and, and all this kind of stuff, right? So we gotta remember what's important, and in my opinion, your health should be your greatest wealth. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Also, be sure to support me and my work by making your juicer purchase at discountjuicers.com. That's how I am able to make these educational videos online for you guys. And also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below to be notified of my new and upcoming episodes. I have episodes coming out about every five, six days or so on comparing different juicers, making juice recipes, all this kind of stuff. And be sure to check my past episodes. I have over 400 episodes now on all aspects of juicers, comparing juicers, and pretty much almost anything you'd want to know about juicers. Uh, once again, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for YouTube visitors. All right, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. And what we're going to do in the video today is we're going to compare the all-new Omega TWN30S that's over on this side with the Omega NC800. So the Omega NC800 has 